Hello guys, welcome back to yet another in-depth review video of Oxygen OS 14. As always, in in-depth review videos, we'll take all your questions which you guys posted on community post. We'll include things like battery backup, camera performance and many more. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. And also guys, we have some news that OnePlus have stopped the OTA release of stable Oxygen OS 14 for OnePlus 11 due to some issues. We are not sure how true is this information, but I'll keep you guys posted whenever they start or resume the OTA service for OnePlus 11. Right now there are a lot of people who haven't received the OTA update and that's because OnePlus must have stopped the OTA update due to some issues. As said, I'll keep you guys posted whenever they resume the OTA services. And now before starting the review video, if you guys like our content and if you think it's useful for you guys then make sure to smash that like button and also consider subscribing to our channel. So here I have my OnePlus 11 which I have used for few days as a my primary device running stable build of Oxygen OS 14. Before talking about the bugs, battery backup and other stuff let's take few questions which you guys posted on our community post. So the first question is from Suhas who says if you are on call and you get a Wi-Fi calling symbol if your Wi-Fi signal drops even the call drops and there is no seamless connection or switch between Wi-Fi calling and Volti calling tested on Geo and local ISP. Yes brother this issue even I have faced and this is not only with my OnePlus running Oxygen OS 14 I have also faced this issue on my Samsung devices. So I can confirm this issue is present. The next question is from Neo who says can you have a visual notification when the phone is in DND mode. Yes so I have seen this thing whenever we enable DND and it's not on other brands I've seen mostly on OnePlus smartphones if you enable DND you still get to see the notifications though device doesn't vibrate or ring but visual notifications are all Always present. Next question is from Navneet who is asking about the HDR content playback and says when you press the volume button the brightness will fluctuate. Yes that issue is already present. So here we have a video if I press the volume key you will see changes in the screen colors. Once it disappears you will see light colors and whenever we press the volume key the screen brightness gets increased. So this issue is still present. I'm not sure it's an issue with YouTube application or with OnePlus smartphones. Another question is from ADJ1993 who says after Android 14 PIP mode in YouTube is giving issues while using game mode or while playing game. First of all, not every user will use the PIP mode while gaming but I did test out after seeing your comment and it works perfectly fine. So let me show you here you can see the screenshot I was playing BGMI and I ran YouTube application everything was perfectly fine. And the next question is from Kuldeep who is asking about adapt system color which applies on the icons and says in past not every icon was supported. So Kuldeep is the same story on Oxygen OS 14 also it's still in beta phase and if I apply you will see a lot of applications don't support or adapt to the wallpaper color. I don't think it's an issue with OnePlus it's an issue with developers who needs to make changes in the specific applications and the last question is from abd6573 who is asking about ultra wide option available in video section yes there is a ultra wide option available on oneplus 11 in the video tab so guys these were the few questions which i picked up from the community post now let's talk about few bugs which i have faced so one of the bug which a lot of users are also complaining and that's layer to the status bar icon sometimes these icons disappear i have already spoken about this in my previous video wherein icons used to disappear randomly and they appear after some time so this is still an issue on stable build of oxygen os and the next issue what we noticed was layer to phones so sometimes whenever we change the fonts from the font section in some scenarios the fonts doesn't get applied on the entire ui right now it's working fine but i did notice that this is an issue present on stable build of oxygen os 14. also i use my oneplus buds pro and i feel after the stable release volume seems to be low how many of you guys have experienced this thing then do let me know in the comment section below now let's talk about the camera part and here i can confirm the quality seems to be gone really down in normal light device sometimes screws up the dynamic range which wasn't the case on oxygen os 13 and same story in low light when you take a closer photo you get good details but in artificial lighting device hdr control is too bad i personally felt portrait mode seems to be improved even for animal faces edge detection seems to be really good and i personally like portrait mode now after the update no issues at all with the edge detection in both front and back camera selfies in normal mode are bad we always get to see that flare which you can see 
in these particular photos. Another thing, OnePlus should remove this crappy 5x zoom which they added with Oxygen OS 14. The photos are really bad with very less details and colors are really pathetic. What do you guys have to say about this 5x zoom option which OnePlus added with Oxygen OS 14? Do let us know in the comment section below. Now let's talk about the battery backup. So here also OnePlus fails to improve the battery backup on stable build of Oxygen OS 14. I'll show you the sats which I'm getting on my OnePlus 11. So here you can see the first SOT was 3 hours and 16 minutes wherein I did use normal applications. Launcher seems to be draining a lot of battery, even the Google Frame services. There are a lot of system apps which are draining too much battery after stable build of Oxygen OS 14. Another example you can take which is of Google Play services. I'll show you the next SOT where you can see I got 3 hours and 51 minutes of screen on time wherein I again use some basic application and little bit of gaming. Here's the third SOT. We again got 3 hours and 41 minutes of screen on time with some normal basic applications being used. So I can also say battery backup is really bad on the first stable build of Oxygen OS 14. What SOT you guys get, do let me know in the comment section below. And guys, in this video, we are not doing gaming test because I have planned a different dedicated gaming test video. I'm not able to do that right now due to some work going on in my house. Gaming will take around three to four hours. More Mostly by tomorrow, I'll try to post a video of gaming test on Oxygen OS 11. Talking about whether you guys need to update your device to Oxygen OS 14. So right now, I won't recommend any one of you to update your device to stable build of Oxygen OS 14, which was rolling out. I'll wait for another build. If we get another build on OnePlus 11, I'll do an in-depth review, again, battery testing and other stuff. That time, I will confirm you guys whether you should update your device or not. Right now, Oxygen OS 14 stable build for OnePlus 11 has screwed up a lot of things. If you guys are already using Using Oxygen OS 14, let me know how is your experience. As of now, only this much in this video. I hope you guys are gonna like the video. If you like the video, then do give us a thumbs up. And also, if you're new to our channel, then do not forget to subscribe the channel. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.